and welcome to Lab Rats. I'm Nicole. And I'm Drew. At the end of our finish line awaits a major prize. To claim it, all our teams have to do is race through the chaotic challenges of the lab, over the obstacles of the labyrinth and cop the cheese sludge face first. Doesn't sound too hard. No, not at all. <laughs> let's see who's up for the challenge today. And let's do it. Over on the red team today, I have Dana and Hannah. Now, what's your favourite thing in the whole world, girls? Drama. Drama. Acting. Drama. Acting. OK, yeah. so you're not afraid of the stage. You love the lights. Love yeah. it. <laughs> OK, I'm going to put you on the spot. Have you got a little skit that you could do for us? Yeah, definitely. OK. All right, All right let's do it. Um, who was the first person to land on the moon? I know this. Um, Carrie Armstrong. Carrie Armstrong, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear? Buzz Lightyear's a toy. I can't help it, you're an ignoranus. Ignoranus, <laughs> ignoranus this. Can we look at me, please? Look at me, look at me. Got one word to say to you. Rude toed. <laughs> ah, Oscar Award winning there, I think. Well done, girls. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you left me speechless. Let's just hand it over to the blue team. <laughs> that is a tough act to follow, but follow it, the blue team shall. We have Dylan and Amber on the blues today. Woo. Now, uh, Dylan, what's one of the coolest things you've ever done? Um, been on Wacky Kerry. What did you do for your performance? Um, I was a bear. A Dougal bear. Oh, so he's like a teddy bear? Yeah. Yeah. So can you embody Dougal for us right now? I could show you when I went into the ocean, how I moved around and... Yeah, yeah, go on, hit it up. Were the waves bumping me? I would believe you're lost at sea right now, Dylan. I feel like calling the Coast Guard. Yeah. That's great, man. Also, we have Amber here. Now, Amber, can you tell us something interesting about yourself? Well, um, I've had the same pillow since I was one. It's like a teddy bear. I just hug it all the time when I sleep, so yeah. One question, is it here right now? Did you bring it with you? No. No, okay, I just thought it might have been a comfort thing to help you out today. Could have brought us luck. Not that we need it. All right, let's pit reds Woo! against blues into our first challenge, the Nano Challenge. Okay, guys, who's up for a game of darts? Yeah, Me. Yep, they're yep. keen. I'll just give you a bit of a warning. It, the dart that we're going to be using is probably a little different to the one that you're used to. I need a volunteer though, first. Dylan, hands up straight away. Okay, can you blow that up for me? Um, yeah. It's going to be fully inflated. <laughs> Dylan's having some trouble there. That is a big bag to blow up. It's all right, Dylan, take some out. We don't want you passing out <laughs> on us, man. <laughs> you've got a bit red in the face, that's a bit worrying. I'm subbing in. Well, thanks for coming along today. That's all we have time for. That's going to take a while, Nick. You should have done this. A bit of preparation okay, would be nice. Okay, do you want me to show you the trick of how to do this? Okay. Yes. All right, yes. Ready? Whoa! <laughs> how have you done this? Pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> all right, now, the fast-moving airstream coming out of my mouth is at a lower air pressure to the air around us, OK? So the air around the stream then rushes in towards this low pressure and then into the bag as well, filling it up. Now, that's why I had to leave that uh, short distance between my mouth and the bag so that extra air could get in there. To give you a little bit of help. A little bit of help. Now, if you were solely relying on your lungs, which was um, Dylan and Andrew's problem, I'd be here forever because there's not that much air in your lungs. Unless you've got really, really big lungs. That's brilliant. All right, you've got the dart <laughs> got blown the dart. up. First What's the challenge done. for the lab rats? OK, they are going to be throwing the darts through the hoop. So if we're just going to split now, just show them a little demonstration. All right. So you've got your dart. OK, ready. Oh, yes. And that's through. So it's allowed to touch the hoop as well. So the challenge today, they've got one minute and if they manage to get the most amount of darts through the hoop, they'll pick themselves up ten points. OK, your time starts now. Yes, they have 
with three darts. So, girls, you've got yourselves the 10 points. OK, taking our look at the scoreboard after the Nano Challenge, we have the blue team on zero points. And the red team on 10 points. What a nice start to the game, The that girls is. are very happy, doing a little happy dance there, but I'm sure the blue team will be doing a happy dance if they can tell us what will happen if. The question for our lab rats is, what will happen if I try to blow the candle out with this cylinder in the way, like so? Get it right, and they'll earn themselves five points. Well, I was thinking that the air might go around the cylinder and get the candle, but I'm not sure. So you're saying I still might get my wish? Yes. Maybe. I reckon that the air is going to go around the cylinder and then blow it out. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, same here. You think that too? Yeah. Both our teams have gone for the same answer, but will it get them the points? Let's find out. Yeah. Here we go. You have to tell me if it goes out because I can't see a thing. <laughs> we ready? Yep. yep. Go. <laughs> Yes! I did it! <laughs> All right. I'm not going to tell you what I wish for. <laughs> but it is to keep standing in the next few seconds while I try and explain to you what happened. OK, please do. OK. Air follows a curved surface, like our lab rat said. In this case, it's curved around towards the candle. The air followed it, blew the candle out. Five points to both our teams. I'm sitting Go down. Go take a rest. <laughs> There really is nothing as fun as points all round. We have the blue team now on five points. And the red team on 15 points. Might I just say I'm very happy that you're still standing next to me. As am I, Nicole, <laughs> as am I. Who will be the first team to make it through the labyrinth, complete the rat race, earn the ultimate 30 points and get cheesed? Will it be blue? <laughs> Method Madness is a big challenge for our lab rats, but first, I have a challenge for you, Drew. Really? I'm going to put this little guy at the bottom of the tube. I need you to get it out of the tube for me. That seems pretty easy. Yeah. There's your ball back. Okay. Now, I need you to get the ping pong ball out of there without touching the tube. OK. I have no idea how to get that no out idea. of there. No? OK. Well, our lab rats will be given a whole bunch of things to get the ping pong ball out of the tube. The team to do that in the quickest time in under five minutes will pick up the big 15 points. But only one team can do this at a time. Yes. And we need to do something with the second team so that they don't pick at the first team's results. Um, we could shrink them with a the shrinking ray gun. That sounds like sounds fun. Sounds like a good idea. All right, blue team, you're behind at the moment, so we're going to give you the choice. Do you want to go first or do you want to go second and we'll shrink you down with the shrinking ray? Second. Go on second. All right for the shrinking. You sure? All right, blue team, it's time to be shrunk. Dylan and Amber are about to be shrunk to the size of rats. Anything you'd like to say in case we can't get you back to your normal size? I love you, Mummy. There it is. I love you, Mum. Let's get you guys shrunk down. The shrinking is complete. Amber, you were a little nervous. How are you feeling now? I'm terrified. Terrified. So make sure you guys don't walk off and get a peek at the red team results. Nick's just going to place a cage down around you now. Cage. And to keep you entertained and to keep an eye on you, say hello to Kitty. Cat. 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 I'm allergic to cats. Hello, Kitty. Blue team seem a little bit nervous there, but they're going to have to stick it out as red team head into method madness. Time starts now. There you go. Okay, Use well, anything and everything. Do, yeah, just put that in and then like see if you can get it out. <laughs> but see if it rises first. It's rising. Okay, pour it all in. Okay, we're not gonna have enough. Get another liquid. Coffee? <laughs> Alright, I'll pour it in. Okay. 
<laughs> Get it out. Get another dick. Ready? Yep. Yep. Okay, your time starts now. Okay, what do we have? Okay, here? what's this? Um, oil, yeah. <gasps> yeah, oil. Oops. 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 Get some of this and then like stick it down there and put this on there. Silly, but scissors. Oh no, we'll just use this on the end. Oh, and there's a long pole so we can like push it down there to get it to stick. Oi! Oops. Oops, can you get it? <laughs> it's not gonna reach. It's falling out. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should like tie them onto that and still go with this. Yeah. Ow. Yes. <laughs> Low tack on the end of it. Just go too small. <laughs> just just <laughs> no, but it's too small. Right? Retrieving the ping pong ball, very nice, no. but will it be enough to beat the red team? Shall we reveal the times? Let's do it. Blue team managed to do it in 4 minutes and 14 seconds. And the red team managed to do it in 3 minutes and 36 seconds. Whoa! They've done it. Well Blitzing done. it. Let's put those points on the board and see how it looks. We have the blue team still on 5 points. And the red team way out in front now with 30 points. Well done, girls. Very confident themselves. Blue team being good sports, clapping, clapping them in. Clapping along. Very nice to see. Well, we're but going to see who's going to be good sports in the next thing because it's huge. It's Bigger massive. Than anything we've ever had. That's why the blue team are clapping. They know <laughs> that it's max points and max action. Up next, the rat race. For the rat race, it's good to be smart. And it's also good to be quick. And it helps to be able to see in the dark. Nicole? The first, first players in the party point accelerator! Get to grab the most bonus points to add to their score. They're called status accelerators. Quick, it's time to start the rat race. Red team.
team are way out in front on 30 points. Blue team only have five points. But if you think this game is over, blue team are ready to prove you wrong. Because when we throw them into the rat race, anything can and usually <laughs> does happen. Lab race, you ready? Yeah! All right, let's do it. Woo! Welcome everybody to the labyrinth. This is where the biggest challenge of all awaits our lab rats. What have we got for them, Drew? Part of that challenge today involves building pyramids. Building pyramids with cranes. Excellent. I wish I had cranes all the time in my everyday life. Now this is teamwork required for this okay. one. One person has to man the handle that operates the boom, moving it up that and down. There. Yep. The other operates a handle that moves the hook up and down, like so. I then have to work as a team to put these pyramids together. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> there there <it> we <laughs> go. Pyramid complete. And once the pyramid is complete, the challenge is complete. But before they do this, they need to make their way through the labyrinth as fast as they can. Not forgetting to pick up the status accelerator points because there's an extra 35 on offer there. And that sounds like a lot of points, but there's even more points up for grab. After completing the challenge, they have to race through the maze and the first team to get cheese will grab an extra 30 points. What is your strategy for taking out the labyrinth? Um, we're like just gonna... Try our best. Try our best. Do your best. It's the best you can do. I think that we've just got to go real fast through the maze. Real fast? Yeah. 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 I like and it. I think be careful. Careful. Yeah. So stay attentive because you never know what's going to come out in the rat race. We're about to pit our teams together in the ultimate battle. Red team, are you ready? Yes. yes Blue ready. team, are you ready? Yes. All right. Sounds like they're ready. Better not keep them waiting. On your mark. Get set. Go. Blue team just making it first through the big squeeze there, but that doesn't mean much as the red team are catching up, weaving their way through that laser field. Blue still out in front though. Dylan leading the way. Followed by Amber. Onto the road scramble first. Dana, onto the road climb. Hannah not too far behind. It's still barely neck and neck at this stage, but all that can change as our teams head towards that anti-vision chamber. Looks like Blue may just make it over top first, but Dana looks like she may change that. There they go, heading towards that chamber at the same time. Blue and Red partners heading up behind there. Is that you? Yes. Go back. It's pitch black in there. They don't have the advantage of the night vision cameras like we do. Dana, I found it. Oh my God. Here come down. Look, get down on your knees. Oh. It's under. It's under. You can have to crawl. Where? I think they're going to come out of this <laughs> very closely. It looks like, oh, red team is just our first, but blue team not far behind. It's going to be a race into that particle accelerator to grab those big points. Go, Hannah. Here comes the second red team member grabbing Hannah's the points. Got the 20 points. Thank you. Just out of this way, you let's go, let's go. Hannah, into the crane area first, followed by Thanks, Dana, Drew. but here come Dylan and Amber. With the last of the status accelerator points, blue are on 25 and red are on 60. Yes, no, Red have hooked their first piece. Blue team hooking their first you can't piece move now. Drop, drop, Dana. It's tricky. Yes. Red team have just picked up their last piece. And look, no, and up. Look a bit more. Yes, okay, Red Team, through the maze. No, no, no. Red Team, oh, keep going, Blues. God, what are we going? With the pyramid, the Reds are in the maze. No, no, no. 
and they're continuing it with copping the cheese in there and the big 30 points. You guys did well though, managed to pick up some status accelerator they points. They did, Blue Team, you managed to pick yourselves up 20 points with the status accelerator and Red, you managed to pick up an extra 30. Well, let's throw them all together and see what they look like on the final scoreboard. Here they are, the final scores, we have Blue Team on 25 points. And the Red Team on 90 points. Red Team, our winners today, well, congratulations. Well. Champion Lab Rat. Yes. Well done to all our Lab Rats. Think we've all had fun. We hope you'll be back to experience it all again next time when some more Lab Rats run the race. We'll see you then. See you later.